Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. I want to do a breakdown of what your body's made out of. This way you can think about the minerals and other vitamins that you're taking and why you're taking them and maybe see what you're missing and maybe see that you've been marketed to very well um, by people who don't understand physiology or anatomy. Okay, so just bear with me as I go through this. Our body is made out of 1% carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are made out of three things, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Our body is made out of 16% fat. And fat is made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Our body is made out of 16% protein. And protein is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And a little bit of nitrogen. And then our body is 62% water, which is hydrogen and oxygen. So notice I said carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen many times there. The rest of our body is minerals, only 6%. So keep that in mind as we go through the next list. Of the elements on the periodic table of the elements in chemistry, I don't know if you remember that from school, 65% of our body is made of oxygen. 18% is made out of carbon. 9.5% is made out of hydrogen. Those three elements make up 92.5% of our body. When's the last time you took a supplement that's made out of the three most important building blocks of our body? You go to the health food store, they got magnesium, boron, selenium, etc., etc., all these minerals. Have you ever purchased a supplement that is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen? Chances are not. And in my career of over 20 years dealing with supplements and diet, I have not ever seen a supplement that has those three in it for the purpose of rebuilding your body until not too long ago. Now let me just show you a couple examples. Here's a product that's solely hydrogen. This is actually uh, pretty earth shattering that somebody took the time and, and put hydrogen into a tablet form and then you can take it. Well, so Cellcore Biosciences has products that are uh, loaded up with carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I'm gonna show you some of them. But let me just first show you, they have this one called biomolecular oxygen. It's pure oxygen in a liquid form. It's fantastic. All your cells love it. You can put it on topically and it'll get rid of things in your, on your skin. So Cellcore has a base foundational nutrient called fulvic acid and also humic acid. And I've done a couple of videos about these, but these are ingredients in soil that transfer minerals from the soil into the plant. And these are sort of basic building blocks of life. When the plant dies, those humic acids and fulvic acids go back into the soil. And we should be consuming these. We used to. Our ancestors used to. They would dig up a root and eat that root, and there was dirt on it. Even 50 years ago, a lot of people grew gardens, and they would pull up a carrot and wipe off the dirt and eat it. They were consuming fulvic and humic acid. When's the last time you ate dirt? So you can get that in this product right here. It's called Bioactive Carbon Minerals. The foundation is fulvic acid and humic acid. Now, Cellcore Biosciences loads up those acids with carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It's already naturally occurring there, but they add more carbon, more hydrogen, more oxygen beyond what's naturally in there, which is fantastic. We get great results with these. Here's a whole bunch of other products that they have that have that fulvic acid and humic acid base. So, Virag Chem Binder, Kidney Liver Support, HMET Binder, Biotoxin binder. The binder means the fulvic acid is grabbing onto heavy metals and other uh, garbage and debris out of your body and pulling it out and cleaning your body. Bioactive carbon iodine. This supplement supplies iodine. And then the bioactive carbon part, that's the fulvic acid and humic acid, is designed to pull out chlorine, bromine, and fluorine. Those are three elements on the periodic table of the elements back in chemistry. Those three things push iodine out of your body. So you got to add in the iodine back in. Most people are deficient in iodine. So add in the iodine and then subtract out the three things that are antagonistic to the iodine. That's what this does. And lastly, lymphatic support. So all of these have C, H, and O in them in higher amounts. And then the, the carbon is donated to your body to build up structure. The oxygen is donated for the immune system and for respiration of all your cells. And the addition and subtraction of hydrogen is controlled by your body to control the pH level of various tissues like blood, uh, urine, um, tissues in like kidneys, heart, brain, etc. 
and you let your body determine what the pH should be. And so you're, we're adding hydrogen here so that your body can deal with hydrogen and have it in abundance and compartmentalize it and make your body healthy with it. The hydrogen is also used as part of the building blocks for the proteins and the fats. And it's used to make water and it's used to make that 1% of the carbohydrate. Okay, so finally, let's look at the last eight elements on the periodic table of elements and what percentage of that makes up our body composition. So next we have, after a C, H, and O, we have nitrogen. So that's part of the proteins and it's only 3% of our body. So if you supplement nitrogen, what are you actually eating? It is protein. Nestle and other food manufacturers have nitrogen supplements and you look at the ingredients, it's soy protein. All right, so just eat meat. And then the next one is calcium. 1.5% of our body is calcium. Every single doctor across the whole United States recommends women consume calcium supplements. But they've never recommended you take oxygen supplements or carbon or hydrogen supplements. Let's put things in perspective here. 1.2% is phosphorus. The best source of phosphorus is meat. So I put the next four elements all together. They can consist of 1% of your body. That's potassium, sulfur, sodium, and chlorine. And the chlorine might be in the form of chloride. But the point is, you might be taking a potassium supplement, but why aren't you taking a sulfur supplement? Maybe it's because research hasn't been done on it. Maybe it's because it smells like rotten eggs and it's not very friendly for the consumer market. So there's reasons why you're being sold calcium and potassium, but not sulfur and phosphorus. And there's reasons why that you're not sold nitrogen and you're not sold oxygen, carbon, or hydrogen either. So just, I want you to think about this and we do have these uh, products available and we got to put things into perspective and follow the uh, natural path as much as we can. And the last one is magnesium. 0.1% of your body is magnesium. And everybody's taking a magnesium supplement. And it's a good thing and it's very helpful. But let's, again, keep things in perspective and not negate the oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. So if you want supplements that have a lot of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in them, I can uh, wholeheartedly recommend Cellcore Biosciences. Now I want to do a little plug, and these companies don't pay me for this, but I also want to do a little plug for um, my other, one of my other favorite supplement companies, that's Standard Process. And how is it that they incorporate carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen into their products? And they probably don't even know this, but I'm going to tell them right now. Um, fulvic acid and humic acid is in their soil, and they have hundreds of acres of, of organic farming. They grow their own produce, and they put them into their pills. Some of their products taste like soil. And, you know, I grew up as a farmer, and there were moments when I ate cabbage straight out of the field, and I could taste the soil in the cabbage. There wasn't any soil in there. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't dirt in there. But the essence of the soil was in the cabbage. And that's true for uh, quite a number of the standard processed products uh, that they grow on their, um, on their own farm. So they have incorporated, whether they know it or not, the fulvic acid and humic acid. The humic acid and fulvic acid is the essence of our body. It's got the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And just think of the word humic acid. Humic means earth, like human. So without the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, our bodies break down and we get sick and we're no longer human anymore. And then we die and then our bodies go back to the soil. So keep your body as healthy as you possibly can. And if you need help with your health, just call the office and I'll put that at the end of this video.